Hello and welcome to AWS Deep Racer TV News. I'm your host, Blaine Sundred of AWS Training and Certification. Deep Racer TV News is your official source for race results, highlights, and up to the minute news regarding the AWS Deep Racer League. We are well into the peak season for AWS Deep Racer League 2020 with July Virtual Circuit and Summit Online Races sending an additional 11 racers on to the championships this November. Can't wait to get right to those race results. Check the timing in the description below to skip ahead. Perhaps the most exciting announcement so far this season happened this month with the US release of the AWS Deep Racer Evo device available for purchase now on Amazon.com. Developers can buy a complete bundle, which includes the original AWS Deep Racer and an upgrade sensor kit, or existing device owners can buy the sensor kit only as an add-on. Finally, a chance to race head-to-head -head or object avoidance in a physical environment. For those of you outside the US or that don't have room for a track at home, fear not, We've got our AWS pit crew field correspondent, John Meyer, to walk you through the new devices and how you can race them from anywhere in the world with John's Deep Racer Underground. John, welcome to the team and tell us about the new AWS Deep Racer Evo. Thanks, Blaine, for having me. The new AWS Deep Racer Evos are awesome. I've been testing them out here at Underground Deep Racer for the past couple of weeks, and they really take racing to a whole other level. They're equipped with two single lens cameras that make up the stereo camera, enabling depth sensing. This is valuable to avoid crashing into obstacles in front of the car or in a head-to-head -head event or other cars. Additionally, the cars are equipped with backward facing LIDAR sensor, which stands for light detection and ranging. The LIDAR continuously bounces laser light pulses off the surrounding areas to scan and detect objects behind or beside the car, allowing it to evade pursuit in those head-to-head -head races. The Deep Racer Evo then takes these enhanced inputs to determine when to dodge objects and overtake another car to beat it to the finish line. Also, before we had one camera sending 15 frames per second to the inference, now we have two cameras sending 15 frames per second, and then the LiDAR is also sending 10 frames per second. So I understand you can now purchase the Evo in the United States, but for those who can't build their own track or are outside the US, is there a way to test their models on a real track? You know what, Blaine? Rather than tell you about it, let me show you. Go ahead and load your model on the Evo and we'll take it for a spin. Normally, you transfer me your model over to AWS Machine Learning Channel, but why don't you go ahead and load your own? Okay, well, beautiful thing. I've already been working on a model that takes advantage of the LiDAR and the dual cameras. And let me load that up directly. All right, get that in there. And now put the shell back on. Beautiful. All right, John, let's see how it runs. Awesome. Thanks, Blaine. All right, Blaine, let's give your model a test. You know, back in April, I launched Deep Racer Underground, streaming live on Twitch and YouTube. Developers from anywhere in the world can submit their models to Deep Racer Underground and tune in live to see how their models are performing on my track. Wow, Blaine, that's a pretty good model. You know, I have the only reInvent 2018 narrow physical track in my basement in the world. If you want to race your models on a physical track, join the AWS machine learning community, Slack, and reach out to me. We will add you to our underground channel to let you know when the next race is scheduled. All races are live stream on my Twitch channel, the AWS Blogger, and we try to have one event a month and sometimes more. You can also contact me to schedule a private event for your office team or league, which pairs well with a virtual Deep Racer workshop. You know, I started underground because although I love racing in the console, nothing beats the thrill of racing live on a real track. Thanks, John. We look forward to checking out the next Deep Racer Underground race. And for more information on Deep Racer Underground, check out the awsblogger.com slash AWS Underground Deep Racer. In addition to the release of the new Evo device, the Deep Racer virtual experience just got better too. Deep Racer services were recently migrated in the console to provide more transparent, simplified billing that's easier to understand, plan for, and control costs. For more details, check out the link to the blog announcement in the description. 
let's switch over to race results. First up, we have the Summit Online Races for Public Sector, Hong Kong, and Taipei. Racers can compete from anywhere in the world on the official championship track. The top four in time trial and top four in head-to-head -head each qualify for the championships, while the top 20 from each division win 400 US dollars in prizes. In time trial racing, Wen Wen Pan, Kim Izian, Cindy from DBS, and Uno Denso all fare well enough to capture championship spots as the fastest on the leaderboard who have not yet qualified for the big show. Meanwhile, in head to head, Milk B, Rogue DBS, Jack and Who, and only three lock in their places for the championships. Great to see winners from the DBS League in both formats, and the Denso team from Japan following up teammate X Denso's win last month with a win by Uno. If you didn't quite make it to the winner's circle in July, there's still time left to climb the leaderboard and qualify for the championships. To help you get started improving your model to compete with the best, we're awarding every participant that submits to the Summit Online leaderboard a one-time $30 US AWS credit to help with more training. For more details, go to awsdeepracerleague.com. The Virtual Circuit. The July races took place on the riveting Roger Raceway, named after the 2019 reInvent bronze medalist Roger Chu. This track favors speed and technique. Roger and his peers at NCTU are known for employing chess-like strategy for their models on the track and in their submission tactics. You'll need a model that can plan three moves ahead to top the leaderboards this month. Roger hails from Taiwan, which is also the host of this month's AWS Summit Online. Time trial. Alex J tops the leaderboard among racers yet to take home a win with a blistering 118.636. Airborne is just 16 seconds off of Alex J's times, meaning they will have to try again next month for a first place finish as they were awarded runner-up prizing in June. JPMC London 04, Minak Gosh, Ayrton, Mellow Monk round out the top five eligible for prizing. Things are getting really interesting as the championships fill up here end of season. In a surprise result for object avoidance, 10th place finisher Ming Chun manages to eke out the win. By order of operations, Ming Chun has the fastest time not yet receiving a qualifying position. Dark Chocolate, R Racer, Sam Extreme, and Bunny round out the top five for prizes. The bracket of 32 is once again stacked with hopefuls looking to work through the pack and lock in a seat in the championships. Along with familiar camps, Developer.io and DNPDS, we're seeing new organizations develop top racers who are making it into the brackets and podiums as of late. In particular, BMTH02 and SNDY from JP Morgan Chase, along with newcomer Swarov from DBS, who is currently hosting a massive three-month-long racing and educational program for their staff. Let's check out how they did. League veteran Nalbaum was the top seed going in, but was ousted in the quarterfinal by Ming Chun. In the opposite corner, top 2019 competitor Think made quick work of the field up until facing Penguin DMPDS, where, despite avoiding any collisions, couldn't keep up the pace. Final race came down to Ming Chun versus Penguin DMPDS. Ming Chun gets the whole start out of the grid, and Penguin makes contact right away, giving Ming Chun the advantage. Penguin clearly has the more aggressive model, but struggles with off tracks and collisions, trying to find a way through the tight and technical Roger Raceway. Ming Chun holds the lead through four laps, but takes it easy on the last big straightaway, giving Penguin the space they need to slip through on the inside line on the big hairpin. Penguin takes the shot, makes the pass, and pulls away unhindered by Ming Chung for the win. Ah, <sighs> Join us next month for the results of the August races as the stakes get higher and higher with each championship awarded. I'm your host, Blaine Sundred, signing off.